Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Here's the Paper Studio. We all know it's still day 50, I'm not going to go into day 51. It's day 50 part 2. I just came home from the game and I figured I have a little bit more energy in me for the day. So I'm just going to get right to it. I had an idea, uh, I have a few ideas, but I had an idea to do something. Um, I'm just going to use these tags that I just got that I just made and uh, maybe I'll just do, should I do, well, let me see if I could back them quickly or maybe I could back them on each other. Huh. Let's try that because I only need a few. Maybe I could back them on each other. I'm wondering. I think I lined them up perfectly to do that. Let's give it a try and see if it will work. How is everyone? I hope you're well. Thank you for the feedback for Zero's vid video. You like that? My little cutie? Oh, wait. No. No, that won't work if we back them on each other. I'm going to have to cut it in half and then back them. That will probably work because it will be upside down. Okay, so I'm going to have to give a sharp cut on the tops of each so I can have a place to line them up. I'll just do that. I'm just gonna do one little craft with you. It is late. It is late. This one little thing. We'll see how it goes. I hope it goes well. I had a thought. I don't, I don't really quite know. I was thinking of something different unique and different <laughs> we'll see all right i'm wondering are these lined up right and then if i no, because then it's different okay so i'm gonna have to line i'm gonna have to get one edge lined up perfectly i think on both sides this way the tags will line up if i glue them back and back to back And I'll do this one. Might as well do the bottom too. I had a fun time at the game. I did have my stadium food. I had disco fries. <laughs> I shared disco fries with my girlfriend. And we were talking about beach weather coming and catching up. It was fun. Okay, so I did the bottoms. I'm just going to square it all off so that when I glue them, they will match up, hopefully. <laughs> That's the point. Oh, one more. And if they have to be cleaned up again, we can clean them up again. No big deal. Everyone's liking the new twall kit. <laughs> It's fun. And I thought of it when I was doing my bunny cover. Um, you know, for this, this one here, I was like, I, I don't have any, like, thing to match this. So then I came up with the whole thing. So it's been in the works for a little bit of time. Not much, but a little bit. A little bit. Okay. I'm going to use this to glue on and I'm just going to glue them back to back and then cut them out and then I'll show you what it is that I thought of mm, maybe I might need glue but this is all yucky let me get a glue book the game went into overtime so I got in really late it usually doesn't go that late. Usually I'm home by like 10, 10 30. Mm, it's very late here. And then we're watching the eclipse tomorrow. So um, my youngest son won't be with me. So I had to drop his glasses off to him. I put them in his in his windshield. <laughs> you know. 
on my way home because he lives on the way. And um, um, yeah, we, I my girlfriend was coming to pick me up and her daughter was running late. And she asked me if I could meet her on the parkway. So I met her on the parkway and I parked my car there. So it was a lucky thing I, I got out of here when I did. All right, let's line this up. Best that we can. Mm -hmm. That should be good. Okay, let me get a card. And I dropped my sign off his glasses so that he would have them tomorrow because the, he's going to be at work when the eclipse is happening. And it's happening about, I think my son said it was happening about 324 tomorrow here in New Jersey. 324 through, through 428, I think the kids said. Okay, so now they're lined up. So let's, here's the, um, this one is not so lined up, but that's okay. It's going to be just a little bit smaller. And I'll go ahead and cut them out. Um, yeah, it's happening about through from 324 to, um, 428. Well, I know the 428 because you'll never believe it. The 428 is when it's actually going to happen. And would you believe it? That's my mother's birthday. And, <laughs> and of course, we all know that her picture is what fell the only thing to have fallen in my home. And everyone is saying, not just you, that she was with me. Okay. I just want to clean them up and then we'll see what we can do about what my thought is. <clears throat> Good. And then this one is just a little bit on the side. So that's cute. Backing them with each other. We'll have to take a look at them in a moment. Nope. Okay. I think it's pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, the game was a lot of fun. It went into overtime. It went into sudden death overtime, which is where they have three on three players with each other. Oh no, was it four on four players? And um, they tried to get a goal and nothing happened. And then they had a shootout. And the other team won, of course. The other team won. The um, Devils are not in the playoffs. The Rangers are, and that's good. I'm a New York team lover. Definitely a New York team lover. Love the Yankees and the Giants. <laughs> and we'll just go here. Okay, those don't look so bad, the back and front like that. I kind of like them. I do. I'll clip the corners. I'm just cleaning them up good. Okay, now, here's my next thought. It's going to get a little tricky because it's just a thought and I've never done it. And I don't even know I've not seen it. <laughs> Believe it or not, I, I'll tell you what I came up with it after. <clears throat> after I do it, let's see if it comes out well. Okay. So we have our tags. 
we need our page. And I did have a page picked out. Oh, this one. Yeah. I wanted to do this one. It's a little stable because there's something back here and it is a thicker paper. So open up our book. And then, where is it? Well, I had the stuff here. What do I do with it? Did I leave it in the book? Ha <laughs> ha. Well, what I just go and do with it? Oh, I pushed it out of the way. Okay. My thought was, well, I don't know, should we? Now, let me check something. Let me just check something. I'm going and changing things up now. Put the fabric on this way. No. Okay, let's go back. Look at that, I forgot to clip that corner. I'll do it now. It's gonna keep curling up in there. Maybe I should not do it on this page. Maybe I should find something somewhere else. Let me see. I'm checking. Maybe a different, maybe here. Or here. Yes, here. Let's do it here. Okay. Let me open this up good now. On this spot. Okay. So, I thought about a piece of fabric. Any piece of fabric will do. Um, again, this is just a mock because I don't know how it's going to come out. And maybe we'll just do not not the whole length of the paper but it's up to you how your page is decorated you could do whatever you want I'm gonna kind of make it look old and worn and tattered you could even stamp on here if you wanted to so now I have safety pins let me just look if I have um I'm trying to look to see if I have a bigger safety pin than that. I think I do right over here. Let me just pull it. <clears throat> Give me one second. I have bigger safety pins than that. <clears throat> might work better than a safety pin. It might. Let's see. These are hat pins. And as you can see, I got them for a dollar. <laughs> All right, let me open this up. So if you have any hat pins, I was looking for a bigger safety pin. I have these big black safety pins. And I can't find my little, oh wait, maybe they're under here. I found them. Okay, so we could try the hat pin or I'll try that. <clears throat> Let me just see how this works, because I don't even know. So like a hat pin or a safety pin is my idea. And this has a cover, that's good. Let's take one out. 
Let me see how this would work. If I did it, I'd have to go in. The object is to leave some of the, yeah, some of that showing. Okay, that's my object. <laughs> and then the end, and then I could cover it, right? Oh yeah, so a hat pen would be cute. All right. So now my next thought was, all right, bear with me now. Hold on. So that's silver. I got some more breads because I needed the big ones, although I'm not really happy because there's not a lot in here. I read some of the reviews on um i read some of the reviews on amazon for the ones that come with a lot in a package and it was saying that they were not happy with them uh, there was a lot of people returning them so i didn't want to get the ones with a lot in that package so i got the we are memory clippers they're the best best ones um in my opinion for the dollar because I don't want to re have to return. Okay, I'm going to put the grommets in here like that. And do about there. And we'll do this one. And then I'll do this one. And look, these can go either way because we did the backs like that. Okay, I just took a few different kinds of colors. That's silver. This is black if I wound up using that. Um, let me make sure this matches. A and one. All right, let's try this again. There we go. I'm gonna do this one. There we go. And one more. Okay, so now we have our three tags. We could have done more. This is just to show you. Hopefully, it'll get your juices flowing and you'll get inspired. I don't even know. It might come out well. It might not. So, now my next thought is to put these on here like this. Like this. I'm thinking that the safety pin is going to be better than the hat pin. Let's try the safety pin. Hold on. Yeah, I'm thinking the safety pin will be better because it's got more movement. The hat pin is going to keep those um, pinned down. I mean, it might, it could work too, but I'd rather use the safety pin. So let's do that. And to get my safety pin on there, I'm thinking I could just use these little things. So we'll do that. This is just for like a page idea, you guys. Just something different. Something unique. Boy, oh boy, we're getting really fancy here and using all different kinds of gadgets. Okay, so I think I want to put this in the middle and I want to just, I want to see if this will go through here. I don't know. I'm going to try it along each side. And if it, if it doesn't, I might have to um, put a hole in the fabric, but I, I don't know because there's two little prongs on there, so we'll give it a try and see. Oh, it did. Okay, so I'm going to open it up on the back. And then we'll do one more. And I'll just put it next to it. Did 
There we go. And you can move this a little bit now. There we go. And I'm going to open these up. So it's keeping it's keeping a safety pin on the fabric. Now, did I do it straight enough? I kind of didn't. It's kind of crooked, but I don't care. It's looking pretty. Uh, it look it looks tattered and old. It looks like we just came up with this out of nowhere because we did. <laughs> All right. So now my next thought was to glue this down on the page. Yes, on the page, you guys. Glue it down. Don't ask me how I come up with these things. I have no idea. Was this my glue that wasn't working before? I think so. There. I'm just gonna glue a little square all around. And now I'm gonna put this here, like that. And it's going to stay. See that? Now I have a safety pin in here. And I'm going to take, my next thought was to take these little tags, put them on the safety pin. I'm going to turn them this way. And then I'm going to close up the safety pin. And now I have these little tags in the book. Like this, on a safety pin, you guys. Let's see. Should I have done it that way? <laughs> I'm checking. Hold on. Gotta wait for that glue to dry down. Maybe only two. Maybe I should only do two on there. Or maybe even just one. Let's take a look. Maybe two. I think three is too much. Yeah, cute. They're like little tags on a safety pin hanging in your book. Now, it kind of looks a little crooked because of the fact that I put the pin on crooked. If I would have put the pin on straight, it would have looked better, but the pin is on crooked. And there's nothing I could do about that. Oh no, it moves, that's why. Okay. But look, isn't that cute? I don't know. I thought it was darling. I think it's just something different. I think it's cute. I'm thinking we can work on it a little bit better. But I kind of like it. Just dangling in the book like that on the safety pin. Maybe even if we did it sideways. Possibly if we put the safety pin in sideways. I'm wondering. I don't know. It's something different. I like it. And it's in there. It's on the page. And if you didn't want to put those on there, the tags... You could maybe even just put one tag on there. Maybe this. Maybe you could put little fabric things on there too. Wait. Let's see what I have here. I have some scraps of fabric. Oh, maybe. No. Put scraps of fabric. Well, these are from a, a twisted tangle. Let's see. Oops, what's on here? You can do that. And of course you can put all these things on there before, <clears throat> before you attach it in the book. And close up the pin. 
And you can have little pieces of fabric dangling there. Maybe we'll just put the tags in a pocket. But I just thought that's cute. You could put beads on there, even. You don't even have to put the tags. Maybe we can, we can come up with a better plan. Oh my goodness, I'm, I get it hot because I came in and I didn't even take off my coat. <laughs> um, possibly we can even put something, put the tags in at the bottom. Hold on one second. Let me see what I have here. We can use that and put the tags in at the bottom. Make it like a cute little fabric and taggy kind of a page. What do you say? Let's do that. And then I'm going to go get some rest. I am pooped, tired. Um, it's been, uh, you know, okay <laughs> with my feelings for the earthquake. Yeah, they've subsided a bit. I'm trying to look for a piece of paper to put that on. Make it a little bit thicker. I found one. And this is from Rachel, Roxy Creations. These are in her labels. Just going to make it a bit thicker kind of do the same thing that I did with the butterfly the other day except for with book page of course my desk is such a mess but tomorrow is cleaning day tomorrow I need a reset day definitely cleaning I'm gonna cut this out I just want something to make it a little bit stronger. Because it was just on copy paper. Okay. There we go. And I'm just going to stick it right on the bottom here. I just think that's so cute. And then I love the way that I tacked it in with that. So I got the idea kind of because... Um, <laughs> I had to hang something off of a, in my bedroom, off of a rod, like a towel rod, and I just thought maybe how to how to incorporate that into a book. <laughs> that was my thought anyway. Okay, so we'll take the tags that I just made and we'll put them in here, like that. We kind of have all that rusty look with the with the paper clip and the little um, tags with the eyelets and then the brads holding in the paper clip. It looks cute. Okay, I don't want it to go too, I don't want it to glue too much on there, but those hold that and that looks cute and we could still close it up fine. I like it. It's just a little something else to look at in the book. We can work on this a little bit, but I like the idea and I hope you guys like it too. And then you can do whatever you want with it. You can, you can pin anything you want on here. And even the hat pin would have looked cute on there and has the closure on it. 
and you can hang something off of the hat pin. So if you, if you did it two times in, so once, no, from the front, sorry, two times in, so once and then twice. Oh no, I'm making a hole in this fabric. I like this fabric. Hold on. I gotta get something that I don't mind. Okay. So from the front, you would do it two times in and then long ways. And you can put something on there. And then again, come out. And then you would have your closure on there like that. Something in the page like that. I mean, that's just practice, but something. You could have something dangling off there. Maybe not a tag, or maybe just without the grommet. That might help too. The grommet's probably lifting it off the page. That's probably what it's doing. I'm wondering. That could be a possibility. All right, this glue is probably dry. I'm going to say goodbye to you guys until tomorrow. Oh, yep, see, got glue at the end of my tags. I'm going to say goodbye to you guys until tomorrow. And then we played around a little bit, but hope that just gives you the incentive to play because you can play. You don't have to do everything I do or something that I do. You could do something else to it. And you can just play. Play around. Have fun in your books, you guys. Have fun crafting. Just create and play. <laughs> Blessings to all of you. Have a great evening. And I know it's late, but some of you are waiting uh, on the West Coast. <laughs> and I will see you guys again tomorrow for day 51 because we are over our day 50. Day 50 is gone. Bye-bye. <laughs> and we're on to day 51 tomorrow. And tomorrow is Merry Monday. All right. Blessings to all of you. Thank you. And have a wonderful evening. Bye for now, my crafting buddies.